What's up, everybody? We're cruising down the back roads out here in the middle of nowhere in the forest. Mean, mean bug. And I got a bunch of backpacks and softball, t-ball, baseball stuff because I got to take them practice tonight. But the older ones are at school right now, and I went and picked him up from the daycare from his mom. We're going mushroom hunting. Might do some fishing, might do some other stuff. Should be a good day. Uh, it's about 50 degrees right now. The mushrooms, not, not heavy popping here in Indiana yet, but they are up. The little blacks and grays and stuff, they're, they're popping. I know because I have a friend who is a serious mushroom hunter and he's already found several. So actually funny enough, um, on the way here, so I took uh, three days off work. Well, I took two days off work. Uh, Friday's a holiday. So we actually get good Friday off. So I took Thursday and Monday off. So I have five days, five days, no work. It's great. All paid. I had some PTO, my contract in, so I need to burn my leave anyhow. And uh, we're going to spend a few days mushroom hunting, metal detecting, fishing. And I haven't been making videos because I've been slacking and I need to do a video for Vaunt Lanterns, which there will be a link in the description below for their lights because I love their stuff. It's great if you're looking for good lights for camping or whatever. Always, always check them out. I love their stuff. I will support it 100%. It's always been great. They've always had just perfect stuff. Um, I also have to do a video for Super Clean again that I promised I would do and uh, something else, but I don't remember what. So I'm backed up on doing videos. I've been slacking all through the winter because it's been cold and I've been dealing with a lot of other stuff, but we have time. We have time and that we'll go into the energy stuff later motivation blah 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 that looks like mike's truck green county we know everybody you want to know everybody and be friendly green county except for the methods don't talk to them they're crazy but those are everywhere so man you know i figured being a weekday there wouldn't be that many people out all my good spots that i like to go cars 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 terrible ellis lake looks pretty clear we may have to fish that but yeah there i have a secret little area back here in the middle of nowhere that I go to and man there are two cars there I'm so disappointed I don't tell anybody about that spot or where it's at because there's a secret little hole up in there that not too many people go to very rarely do I ever see anyone up there and it is a great little fishing hole uh, I lost it for six years couldn't find it anyhow that's what we're doing we're gonna head up here towards reservoir 29 I believe this is on the Sullivan County side. So, should be a good spot up here. Unfortunately, it stormed like crazy yesterday. So, everything's wet, trees are down, a little hectic. But, you know, should be a, should be a good time. All right, we're gonna hop off. I'm gonna focus on driving. And we're gonna get out in the woods. They just re-graveled this road, so it's really bumpy. All right, we'll be back. All right, everyone. Found my first mushroom of the year. Well, Bug here, he, he's with me. He didn't see it. I just about stepped on it. Take a look. We're looking on a southeast facing hill slope. And look at it. Oh, there's two of them. Little bitty, bitty guys. Come here, Bug. Get down here. And I want you to see it. That's what we're looking for. Those are morel mushrooms. Those are grays. That's a little small, but I'm going to go ahead and pick it because, well, that's all I can get. I also had to win in it. Huh? I had to win. Well, that worm's on the rock, and I think that's actually a slug. That's okay, but that's what we're looking for. We got one. And now, once you find one, once you guys on the video or bug, when you see one like this, you want to stop and start looking around because they grow in patches usually so we can start looking around we'll get down low like this and we'll start browsing the first one's always the hardest to find so i don't see don't don't smush it i'm gonna put it in a bag in a minute but then you can dig through the leaf litter and that we'll dig through the leaves 
and we'll see if any more are popping up right in here because sometimes they'll still be covered by the leaves. Nope, I thought that was on. It's a pine cone. All right, well, we found one so far. And that's, that's it. That's how hard they can be to find. I mean, he's, you know, <laughs> the size of my thumb, actually smaller than my thumb. But that's one, and we're going to get a picture of Bug here in a second. <clears> hmm. <throat> It's a good day to be out filming and having fun. Me and Bug. He doesn't talk much. And if any of you are like people in a previous video where my other son was young, they don't have a speech impediment. They just don't speak English very well when they're young. He's only four. So don't be rude. Yeah, had a bunch of people insult my four-year-olds on how they talked. You're a terrible person if you do that. All right, we'll be back. All right. Do you guys see it? Yeah. Bug sees it. It's right there. And these aren't big ones. And normally I wouldn't pick ones this small, but I won't be back. So we're going to pick that. It's a little yellow. And the yellows are good to eat. I missed the stem. Um, you don't want to just pick any mushroom. If you don't, you want to know what they look like. And this is what morel tops look like. Sometimes they're bigger, they're hollow on the inside. They do not have little chambers. Just spongy little yummies. And I'm using a plastic bag, which you shouldn't do, but that's all I had. You should use a mesh bag because it helps spread the spores as you walk. We're gonna keep looking around here and I, you'll see I left the stem. So, I'll look at right, right there is the stem. So it'll spread more mycelium and uh, Hope more mushrooms grow later. I don't see any more yet, but they're around. So we're gonna keep poking and then we're gonna cook these up. He, I don't think he's ever eaten these kind. So I got my little camp stove with me and a little olive oil. We're gonna cook them up and he's gonna try them. They're gonna be good. I All right. never ate mushrooms. <laughs> we'll be back, you guys. You guys probably can't tell on video because video flattens everything out. This hill is incredibly steep. And, uh, well, that's a flat spot. You know, this is, you know, the sun's coming down straight onto the hillside. So it keeps it nice and warm, which is what's helping the mushrooms pop. Actually, my buddy that passed me, big mushroom hunter, just texted me, said, there's no mushrooms out there. And I just texted him back, said, we've got three already. <laughs> so he's probably gonna be mad. But they're little tiny ones, but that doesn't matter. You know, we'll still eat them. Bug will enjoy them. It's a good time. We're just having fun. Bug, you all right? He's actually sitting about like that, you know. You found something? What'd you find? Oh, you found a stick. That's a vine, actually. <laughs> so we're just hiking up these hills where the sun's hitting good. And we're just searching. But three is better than none. It's a good time. The kids love it. And we're going to do more this weekend. So, I mean, geez. I'm going to try and get it. The fact that I have to stand with my ankles like that. that this hill is steep. <laughs> and it's beautiful out. Except there's pine trees, and I hate pine trees. If you wonder why I hate pine trees, I'm allergic to them. <clears throat> they make me snotty and sniffly. Luckily, they're not dropping pollen yet. All right, we're going to keep looking, and me and Bug will be back. We'll see what today leads to. I'm hoping for some big mushrooms, but it's really early in the season. So, we'll see what happens. We made it! We're at the top of the ridge. We can't... <laughs> Up that hill, which looks a lot smaller on video. And we crest the hill, and look at that. Oh, this is a beautiful day. They got like a bird box down there in the water. Some kind of bird box. Uh, pop back out. I love this camera. It is just a beautiful, quiet day. Haven't found any more mushrooms yet. I'm not going to... Oh, he found a dandelion. I thought he found a mushroom. You can eat dandelions. Do you know that? 
You can fry the flowers up and they taste similar to mushrooms actually. Pretty good. And they're healthy. Okay, or you can eat it raw. That works too. It's plenty safe. There might be pee on it, but whatever. <laughs> He's eating the dandelion. What? You don't like the dandelion? I do like it. Good. Alright guys. As always, we'll be back. Well, we ran out of mushrooms. Didn't find any more, but there is a cool little cricket frog here. Oh, man, he's fast. You guys see him hopping? There he is. Come here, you little. Hold that back. I'm trying to catch his frog. I don't want to hurt him. Oh. Hang on, I got him. Look, little northern cricket frog. I think that's northern cricket frog. He's following me with his head. Wee-wee-wee-wee. Any cool bug? Yeah. All right, let's let him go. There you go. <laughs> okay, we ran out of... We only found three. Here, give me the... Give me the bag. We only found three tiny little mushrooms. Uh, a buddy of mine just sent me a picture. And he found a great big one. <clears throat> so I asked him where. He's not going to tell me. I know he won't. We're going to put the bag up. My backpack. I'm, I'm wearing my cheap backpack today. I've got my good one in the car. But it's got all my everyday stuff in it. The door's locked. Hang on, bug. So we're going to jump back in the car. And we're going to hop to another area. And we're going to search again. So uh, see you soon. Feels like we're no longer in Indiana, you guys. Feels like South Carolina or like out west in Montana or something with little pine trees and southern style moss. You don't see this as much in Indiana. Not around Green County, anyhow. I'm not sure about other places. Got this beautiful lake. I don't remember the name of this lake. But it's pretty. I did fish for a minute. Uh, not here in another lake. I didn't catch anything. I didn't. I got one nibble, but uh, I swear I saw a school of trout, which would make sense. That lake is stocked with rainbow trout. This one's not. So this one looks more like where you'd find trout with all these pine trees. Does it not look like I don't know Montana or somewhere like that? It is beautiful out here, and we're still mushroom hunting. He is more just having fun, <laughs> checking everything out, which is important. The mushrooms and the fish and all that is way less important to me. It's them just enjoying it and learning to love the outdoors. Ooh, dead tree. Dead trees, good spot to find mushrooms. But again, super early. So... We may not find any more. Those first ones were kind of lucky finds, which is fine by me. All kinds of weird looking rocks. <laughs> There's like a jewel pod right there. Man, I thought that pine cone was one. <laughs> I seen that thing sticking straight up like that. I thought we had one. This lake is pretty though. See, I get down low to the ground to look. And I am actually looking for something that looks like that. When it just pops up, you'll see that sometimes. Of course, that's pine cone, so. <laughs> Not so useful. Yeah, <laughs> there's another one that, that tricked me. It's like playing in hard mode in here. Uh, woo, that wind. He didn't want to wear his coat. That's not on me. He said he wasn't cold. I said, all right, we're not too far from the car if he doesn't get cold. And we're looking on the south-facing slopes. Now, trick to finding south. For one. Woo, know your area. Wow, man, that wind is hard. Good grief. Hold that bag, please. 
I'll show you a quick trick. Is you take your watch, I wear an analog watch, you take the hour hand and you point it at the sun, and halfway between the hour hand and 12 o'clock is south, which at noon that means that's basically south, straight there. So, south facing hill slope, sun hits it more often. That only works in the northern hemisphere. I don't know about the southern hemisphere how that all works. Maybe it works the exact opposite, it'll point north. But, fun little trick to wear an analog watch. You know, I really thought we might have some luck in here. I see online people find them in pine trees all the time. But I am not having a whole lot of luck. But it's still beautiful. It's still nice. Gonna have to check ourselves for ticks when we get home. Also, that old adage that moss only grows on the north side of the tree. <laughs> North, west, <laughs> south. <laughs> yeah, doesn't doesn't hold true all the time. It'll grow wherever it wants to. Primarily, most of the time, you will find more moss on north side trees as it faces away from the sun in the northern hemisphere. Because in the northern hemisphere, the sun usually moves southwardly over the sky, so. Moss doesn't like sun as much. It likes to be a little shady. And it was a mess getting over here, so we're going to look for a different way to get out. Because it was swampy over there. Little woodsman. He's a good boy. We'll teach him well. Man, it is just beautiful in here, though. I don't know what this green stuff is. I know a lot of plants, but I don't know what that stuff is. It's pretty, though. It's soft. So, I think I'm going to go scour all over this hillside, and I'll turn the camera back on if I find any. We got a bass. Woo, it's cold and windy. Bug wants to give it a kiss. What do you think? Hang on. There's still a hook in him, and I'm manning the camera as well. All right, you kiss him on that side. You give him a Mwah! good luck kiss. Actually, I think that's legal to keep too. <laughs> Funny enough, there's a conservation officer. You can't see him. He's sitting over there over the hill, and I know he's going to come check me for my fishing license soon. Yeah, nice little bass. I don't remember the size limit here, though. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put them on a stringer. I think I have a stringer. I'm going to put them on a stringer and uh, check the size limits. But I don't remember. So, I got my fishing license. So, I'm not worried about that. But I don't remember the size limit. And if he's legal, then we're going to we're gonna have some bass and mushrooms. We only have three mushrooms. But he, he won't mind. He'll eat them. So, I know that conservation officer is going to come down here, and I have an interview phone call at 1.30, so I've got like 20 minutes before I get a phone call, and I'm probably going to get checked. That could be uh, really bad timing. All right, I'm going to get this guy off the hook, put him on a stringer, and we'll see what happens in a minute. See ya. Okay, so I just checked. In lakes, the minimum size is 14 inches. So he's about 10, 11 inches. I can't keep him, so we're going to toss him back. Can't do it. Unfortunate. But, follow the rules. There he is. Whoop! He's angry. We're just going to go ahead and pour him out. Yep, you got to measure your fish. Follow the rules. Off he goes. Oh, I meant to actually... Oh, well. I meant to take a picture of you with him. I'll just screenshot when he kissed it. It'll be easy enough. So, 14 inches. Gotta remember that. I gotta find my tape measure too. I don't remember where it's at. All right guys, I got like 10 minutes for my interview. So, I'm gonna hop off here before I get searched for my fishing license like as soon as I get the call. And uh, we'll keep trying. See you soon. I've been fishing, but 
he wanted a metal detector. I bought them a little tiny metal detector. By the way, it's just a pinpoint metal detector, basically. It doesn't do a whole lot. You need to move your bottle cap. But I mean, it, it literally will just beep. It doesn't have depth reading. It just tells you it's in that area. Move your shovel. Okay, we'll dig it up. And it doesn't really matter what he finds. He was really proud to find his bottle cap. MGD. I don't even know what that is. Maybe... Don't worry about it. Let's see what you find. Dig it up. Actually, hey buddy, I bet it's that. <laughs> yeah, you'll find a lot of trash. You know, let's search. Move your foot. Yep, that was it. So, it does find stuff. I mean, it's great for kids. You know, you want to get your kids into metal detecting, and they can't handle the big ones. So, we just search around, and ding, ding. There's your bottle cap. Don't forget it. And he does really well. He really... That's probably the shovel. I was really hoping he'd find some fishing lures and stuff. So I'm not going to get my metal detector out because I don't know that I'm allowed to metal detect here. Um, but they're not going to bother a kid with a little toy finding bottle caps and stuff. So I've been fishing. I haven't caught anything here. I never do. I don't know why I ever come here. I had one little nibble. I did see a nice sized bass over in there, but... They, I think they're so overfished and pressured here, they just don't want to bite. So, but I'm going to keep trying. So I'd like to have some fish and cook it up. But that's it. It's just a good time. Take kids out. Enjoy life. All right. I'm going to keep trying. We're going to see if we can't do a catch and cook. <laughs> well, we are giving up. For right now. Yes. He wants to go home. So. We may get into more stuff. If so, it'll be on the video. If not, this will be the end, I think. I don't know. We'll figure it out as we go. Um, I'm going to do a lot more this weekend. Well, this week that I'm off. So, uh, yeah. Oh, fun story. The uh, interview, phone call interview I had to do was actually for where I work now. <laughs> it was a recruiting officer. Um, same area I work. I did not realize they were recruiting for the contract that I'm on. And it was literally basically for the same thing I'm doing now, but for less pay. <laughs> so yeah, that, uh, that was an obvious no, that, uh, not going to happen, but me and him, we're going to head home and see what happens. Maybe grab something to eat. I also have a nasty headache. I slept on the couch. Neck hurts. Head hurts. Not fun. All right, guys. We'll see what we get into. I'm sure we'll do something. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for sticking around. What'd you say? Maybe I want to sleep on the couch. Maybe he'll want to sleep on the couch. What is on your head? You got mud on your head. Okay. That's the big dot on his head. He's got mud. All right, guys. We'll see you next time. Till then, have a good one.